Hello friends, welcome to Expert Medical Coding. In today's video, we are going to learn about IC10 CMP CS updates 2024 first quarter part 2. In this video, we are going to cover two coding clinics and the first one is how should acute prostatitis with cystitis be coded and the second one is what is the appropriate code assignment for lipodermatosclerosis without documented varicose veins. So let's get started with the first one. How should acute prostatitis with cystitis be coded? Let's see the scenario. A patient presented to the emergency department and is admitted after CT of the abdomen revealed acute prostatitis and cystitis. How should acute prostatitis with cystitis be coded? And the answer here is we have to assign code N41.3 for prostatocystitis and code N41.0 for acute prostatitis. For acute prostatitis with cystitis. Although prostatic cystitis is indexed to code N41.3, both codes are necessary to capture the equity of the condition. So in this scenario, we have to assign two codes, one for the prostatocystitis and one for the acute prostatitis. We have to give this code separately that is acute prostatitis in order to show the acuity of the condition. Now let us see this in the index. Index for prostatocystitis code. Go to the main term cystitis in the index and under that subterm prostatic. It will lead you to the code of N41.3. Now let us see the index for acute pancreatitis code. Go to the main term prostatitis and under that subterm acute. It will lead you to the code of N41.0. Now let us move to the next scenario. What is the appropriate code assignment for lipodermatosclerosis without documented varicose veins? So before moving toward the scenario, let us see what is venous stasis is. Veins normally send blood back to the heart to get more oxygen. If you have venous stasis, your veins can't send the blood from your legs back to your heart. Blood pools up in the lower legs and creates swelling, pressure and skin problems. Now let us see what is lipodermatosclerosis is. Lipodermatosclerosis is a chronic inflammatory condition characterized by subcutaneous fibrosis and hardening of the skin on the lower extremities due to venous insufficiency. Lipodermatosclerosis also referred to as sclerosing panniculitis. Now let us see the scenario. A 55 year old obese patient presented due to bilateral venous stasis disease, lymphedema and lipodermatosclerosis associated with venous stasis ulcer of the right lateral calf. When refreshing lipodermatosclerosis in the alphabetical index, an instructional note C varix leg with inflammation leads to a code that describes varicose veins. Now here, when referencing the term lipodermatosclerosis in the alphabetical index, we can see the instruction below it, that is C instruction, varix leg with inflammation. However, the patient does not have varicose veins. So what is the appropriate code assignment for lipodermatosclerosis without documented varicose veins? And the answer here is, we have to assign four codes in this scenario and the first one is M79.3 that is paniculitis unspecified for lipodermatosclerosis. In addition, assign codes L97.219 for non-pressure chronic ulcer of right calf with unspecified severity, I87.2 for a venous insufficiency and I89.0 for lymphedema, not elsewhere classified, to capture venous stasis disease with right venous stasis, calf ulcer and lymphedema. Now let us see these codes in the index. Index for lipodermatosclerosis. Go to the index and search for the term lipodermatosclerosis. You will get a code of M79.3. Now let us see for the next code. Index for venous stasis ulcer of right calf. Go to the index and search with the main term stasis under the subterm ulcer and without varicose veins we have to take here and it will lead you to see also instruction ulcer by sight. Now we will go to the ulcer as a main term under that septum lower limb under that calf and right. It will lead you to the code of L97.219. So this is the code for venous stasis ulcer of right calf. Now go to the index and search for venous stasis ulcer going to the main term stasis under that septum ulcer. Under that without varicose veins we have to take because there is no mention of varicose veins in this scenario. Without varicose veins it will lead you to the code of I87.2. Now let us see index for lymphedema. Go with the main term lymphedema it will lead you to see also elephantitis. 
So as per the instruction, go to elephantitis and it will lead you to the code of I89.0. So these four codes are necessary to fully capture the condition. Lipodermatosclerosis, also referred to as sclerosing paniculitis or hypodermitis sclerodermaformis, is a form of paniculitis in which the skin of the lower legs become discolored, tight and painful. It would not be appropriate to report codes for varicose veins when there is no provider documentation supporting the condition. Please like, share and subscribe to Expert Medical Coding. Thanks for watching.